All right, so let's review the cash shop. So you get the pickaxe one hour. Uh, these are all 50 Lumina, which isn't that bad. Growth elixir, dungeon point reward. So these are just kind of the little buffs, which is okay. Consumables. The only thing that I really see here that is... Oh no, they're 25. They're 25. Um, I thought there was a bundle though. I think there was a bundle of them. Um, there's holy water... Which is when used eliminates any resurrection after effects. Peace Pledge, which does prevent the uh, attacks by hostile players for 10 minutes. The Memorization Scroll, the Strong Repair Kit, the Skill Growth Kit, and the Teleport Scroll. Um, inventory Expansion Ticket, which is the 1200, okay? So that's what I thought. Um, so they're 1200 for inventory, 900 for an extra tactic save, and 900 for a character slot expansion item. Costumes aren't that bad in price. Um, so for $20, you get 2400 Lumina, and these are 2600 Lumina. So unfortunately, you do have to spend $30. The costumes that they're starting out with are okay. Um, they're six. The only difference is for your different sex, they change. They don't change between classes. I love this little silver one. This winter Milky Way because it looks like the dress that Ariel's walking out of in The Little Mermaid. Like when she walks out of the water, she's like, I'm reborn. Um, you know, the costumes are okay. You know, the dress ones feel a little bit out of place though. Um, let me just check. Reaper, so your game is stuck on the blessed screen really quickly. Um, I would recommend closing it and going into Steam as run running it as an admin. Um, I had to do that. I had to restart it six times and it didn't end up working, so I had to restart everything as admin. Um, you get pet skins. Uh, mount skins, I mean. My bad. Um, these two different mounts that you can get. Which are kind of neato. Uh, pet costumes. Um, I don't really know why you'd particularly like... Like, that one's super awesome. Like, that pet right there, that, that pet's sick. Look at that. Like, that's something Vera Dark would run around with. Um, this one's cool as well. Um, the others is just an item change appearance, which is $10, which is reasonable. I mean, it's reasonable for item change appearances to be $10. It's that way in Star Wars The Republic. It's that way in Black Desert Online. Well, if you're just buying it straight out. Um... You do get these, the spirits, which I haven't looked at too, too much. Um, so they're just like slot inputs. Equipment scores, 273, ability, fighting, ability and acceleration, ability and crit, ability and power, hit. I mean, there's a ton of them. Um, fighting power, fighting crit, fighting hit, ability, power, acceleration, vitality, dodge, vitality, parry. Um, vitality block, vitality magic defense, and vitality physical defense. For mats, there's the condensed magic stone, which is what you need for the, for your armor, I believe it is. Um, handiwork, materials, this is all just crafting mats from what I'm seeing. Um, which is okay. There's this one that's 800, um, there's this one that's 1000 that has... Spell Concentration Stones, Whirlwind Spell Concentration Stones, Horns, and Skins, and then Mats that are Powders, and just more Mats, it seems like. A Companion Skill Change, um, High Class Potential Blessing Powder, Passive Growth, and then the Horns and stuff. So, it doesn't seem like it's pay to win. It does not seem like it's pay to win. The only thing that people will, I'm sure, be iffy about is the Peace Pledge, which is the Dove. But I don't think it's that bad. Let me know. What, what do you guys think about the cash shop? I mean, do you guys think it's bad or do you guys think it's fine?